uh, for a former president, a former president of the United States, to call an authoritarian like Putin a genius for invading another country. I mean, Wolf, I mean, w w how do you say uh, there is no bottom in Russian? I mean, that that is that is where we are right now with Donald Trump. And, and none of this should be surprising. I mean, if you look at how Trump has treated Putin, fawned over Putin, kowtowed to Putin over the last five years, I mean, this is perfectly in character. You'll recall back in 2016 when he invited the Russians to find Hillary Clinton's emails. His, his own family met with the Russians at Trump Tower. Of course, there was the Helsinki moment where uh, Trump said he trusted Putin more than the U.S. intelligence community. You know, at, at one point, uh, you know, Donald Trump uh, held up military hardware to Ukraine in an attempt to shake down the Ukrainians for dirt on Joe Biden. That was how he got impeached the first time around. And so this is completely in character. I asked a uh, Trump advisor about uh, what Trump has been saying about Putin over the last couple of days uh, earlier today. And this Trump advisor said, well, it was sloppy uh, the way that Donald Trump went about uh, doing this. Uh, he, he meant to say that that Biden got outplayed by Vladimir Putin. But this advisor went on to say, there's there's no doubt about it. This is humiliating. It's humiliating to see an ex-president praising Vladimir Putin in this fashion. Yeah, a sensitive moment like this, especially. And right. it's not just Trump, as you know. Other Republican politicians and conservatives on right-wing media, are they're fawning over Putin as well. Does that make any sense to you at all? Wolf, it, it, it's baffling. I mean, you know, imagine if Ronald Reagan had to deal with this when he was staring down uh, the Soviet Union back in the 1980s during the Cold War. You and I both know there was nothing, nothing like a Fox News back then with Tucker Carlson, as Brian Todd was just showing in his piece, you know, essentially echoing Kremlin talking points, saying, well, why do I hate Vladimir Putin, telling his audience of millions of people, you know, that they shouldn't hate Vladimir Putin either. Tucker Carlson has been doing this uh, for months now, uh, essentially spewing uh, what they say over at the Kremlin, what Vladimir Putin would like Americans to say, uh, to the point that, uh, Wolf, they play Tucker Carlson's bits on Russian state television. That's how bad it's gotten. But as Brian Todd was just mentioning a few moments ago, uh, the former Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, it's not just people on Fox, people like Mike Pompeo uh, is praising Vladimir Putin. And of course, he's doing that to some extent because he wants to position himself to run in 2024. Um, you know, th this has exposed a rift, a split inside the Republican Party. You do have some Republicans like Ted Cruz uh, praising Joe Biden for how he's been uh, doling out sanctions uh, at, at uh, Vladimir Putin and the Russians and the Nord Stream uh, 2 pipeline and so on. Uh, but then you have people like Josh Hawley uh, inside the Republican Party who were essentially uh, spouting uh, Russian talking points, uh, asking, you know, why should Americans go and fight the Russians over in Ukraine when that's never going to happen. Uh, and so this is just not the party of Ronald Reagan anymore, Wolf. It's the party of Donald Trump and it's the party of appeasement. Jim Acosta helping us appreciate what's going on. Thank